new at 5.30. This mother says she left her five-year-old locked in a car as temperatures soared while she went shopping. The back of the car measured at 110, while the front of the car, and we're talking about inside, measured 107. And now we're learning the surprise request she made herself when she was too warm in the back of a police cruiser. Hearing the details on this one might get you hot. Mm -hmm. South Daytona police say that mother asked them to put the air conditioning on for her. She was hot in the police car. They say while she was shopping earlier, the pavement of the parking lot where the car was parked with her son, the pavement reached 137 degrees and only one window was left open. Channel 9's Mike Springer live in Volusia County for us. Mike, police say it was so hot that day that the mother couldn't take the heat inside of the back of the police car? Uh, police say the mom actually asked them to put on the air for her as they drove her to jail because she was just so hot. And to give you an idea of the temperatures we are talking about that day, police say when they actually did a temperature reading on that car, they tell us it registered at 110 degrees inside. I mean, what happened? The South Daytona police body camera video captures the moments right after officers pulled Colleen Walker's five-year-old son out of the hot vehicle in the Dollar General parking lot last week. Investigators say the temperature inside the SUV reached 110 degrees. Police say the boy was inside the vehicle for 28 minutes while Walker and her three-year-old daughter went into the store to shop. Minutes. Yeah, but it's, it doesn't, don't get all huffy and puffy because I'm going to feel bad for you. I don't care. Walker told police her son wanted to stay in the vehicle and play on his phone, so she left him in the SUV. A woman saw the sweaty child crying and screaming and called 911. Rescuers say Walker's son is lucky to be alive. We get cases and cases and cases where 10, 15 minutes the kid's dead. Police arrested Walker for child neglect and her husband picked up the children. Investigators say Walker did have one complaint. She uh, was complaining that in the back seat of our patrol car was too hot uh, while she was on her way out to the jail and I asked the officer to turn the AC up. Walker bonded out of jail and no one answered the door when I went to her South Daytona apartment today. She could face up to five years in prison if convicted. Tonight, police tell me both of those children are still in their parents' custody. As for Walker, court records show she has two prior arrests on her record for cocaine possession. Reporting live in Volusia County, Mike Springer, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.